The late councilman Tom LaBonge, dubbed Mr. Los Angeles, served the city for 39 years. He's remembered as someone who loved the city's history, its landmarks, and its people. Every Christmas, he would deliver loaves of pumpkin bread baked by nuns at Hollywood's Monastery of the Angels to every fire station in Council District Number 4. This is the first Christmas without Tom, but our next guest has taken it upon himself with the blessing of the LaBonge family to honor his legacy and continue that tradition. Joining us with the details is Lawrence Cohen, along with Tom's wife, Bridget LaBonge. Uh, thanks, the two of you, for joining us. Thank you, Glenn. Hi. Yeah, and you also have uh, Captain Silverman behind you. You guys are at Station 35, right? Hi. Correct. Bridget, we're going to start with you. Uh, again, sorry for your loss. Uh, Tom LaBonge was a, a legend here in Los Angeles. We know how much he loved Los Angeles, but as someone who was married to him for 41 years, what do you remember most about uh, your husband? You knew him better than anybody. Well, uh, we learned more about him after his death because we realized um, we were hearing all the stories and tales about what he did when he wasn't. Uh, so it's been um, a real experience. I've been very happy. Well, Bridget and Lawrence, uh, great to see both of you guys, and thank you uh, for doing this for Tom. Uh, we all love Tom, uh, and all of us have a story, a positive story. He has such a beautiful spirit. Lawrence, you, you knew him very well. Uh, he was a good friend of yours. Why did you decide to continue his Christmas tradition? Well, Tom was the quintessential public servant. You know, I knew him for probably 18 years. And I never knew whether he was a Democrat or a Republican because it didn't matter. He was a humanitarian. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Tom uh, would stuff the trunk of his vintage Chevy convertible with brooms and trash bags and pumpkin bread from the monastery. And if there was something that needed to be done, Tom did it. Mm -hmm. I, I always was convinced there was more than one Tom because I could see him in multiple parts of the city on any given day. And when this showed up, I, I mean, Bridget's been doing so much to honor his memory already. And as we were closing in on the holiday season, I realized this is the perfect way to end a very difficult year. Mm. Well, these pumpkin breads became, of course, his signature gift. Uh, he's given uh, one to President Obama when he visited. Also, Vin Scully, to name a few. Uh, can you talk about how this also actually helps the nuns at the monastery who actually who do the baking? Well, it keeps them out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They, uh, they're, um, you know, they're, they're cloistered, uh, which means that they don't get much contact with the outside world. And so it gives them something meaningful to do six days a week. It generates revenue for the monastery itself. And, uh, again, it, it, I think it would be very surprising for people to know that there's a monastery in Hollywood. Mm. Yeah, and then besides these, uh, this pumpkin bread at the monastery, the monastery also sells other goodies, and we actually have some of those with us here today. Can you speak about that? I think we have some chocolates as well. Uh, yes, I'm a professional in that department. <laughs> um, they're peanut brittle rivals, these candies. Um, and all those candies are made by hand at the monastery and so it's uh they're all made with with uh delicate hands and great love and, and uh peanut brittle and caramels and um uh, toffee so it's, it's really a, and plus they have a whole gift shop up there with other items to sell so it's, it's quite a little business that gower just above franklin under the hollywood mm. yeah well i'm trying the uh, pumpkin bread here i got a slice it's pretty good Okay, yeah. there's also a and Tom LaBonge fund that people can donate to. Um, who does that help? Well, it's, it's helping more than the fire stations, actually. We were so uh, successful in getting donations that uh, we're going to be... See, this is what I loved about Tom. He would do things not for the recognition. He would do it because it was the right thing to do. So uh, Bridget uh, told me about a couple of organizations that work with formerly homeless women and their children. Mm. So we've got a surplus of the pumpkin bread from donations, and uh, it's going to go to... Alexandria House and Good Shepherd Center for Homeless Women and Children. Yeah, that's fabulous. Uh, Bridget, let's speak uh, as we wrap up here of Tom's legacy and why we should keep it alive. Uh, what do you think that Tom brought to the world? 
Um, you know, great love and joy. And that sounds very old fashioned and simple, but um, all those all those things that might make people uncomfortable sometimes. You know? And uh, he killed people with kindness sometimes. And he made people uncomfortable with his kindness. And it's very simple and it's uh, made a great difference in people's lives. And we can see that now um, as we get messages from around the world about how their interaction with him has made a difference. Can, can you tell we're in a, re a working fire station? Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Uh, looks like you guys uh, might have a call to go out on. Yeah. Well, I can say one thing. Lou and I were talking, you know, it, when we were reporters, you'd go out and be a lot doing a live shot somewhere. Mm -hmm. If Tom happened to be drive by, he'd stop. He, he knew everybody by name. Yep. He knew all of us. Always wanted to know how we were doing and what story we were covering that day. I mean, he took an interest in everybody. He was a good man. And uh, thank you for honoring him. He actually saved me from being run over by a rose parade float. Oh, well, did he? <laughs> yeah, <thanks>. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so good to see both of you. Uh, happy holidays. And uh, Bridget, we're sending your, our love and, and energy to you this holiday. So much. Lou, I look forward to seeing you in person again one day. Me too. Thank you. Thank you. God bless yourself. Bye, Captain. All right. To donate to the Tom LaVange Fund or to purchase uh, the baked goods for the Monastery of the Angels, visit monasterygoodies.com. And again, thanks to Bridget Lawrence. Okay, so that was a real feel-good story for the yeah. world. Yeah, he was amazing because I, I can't believe he's gone because he, he had so much energy whenever he was around you. Yes. You could just feel all that yes. energy, and he did. Glenn's right. He would come up to you when you were out as a reporter, as a young reporter on the street, and he'd always stop and say hello and see how things are going. We miss him greatly. Mm -hmm.